Possibility. Possibility can mean many things. An option, an opportunity, a chance, a prospect, or even a risk. Life is full of these, and as our first presenter, Lee, so aptly wrote in his book, Mayo's Last Answer, the possibilities of the world were so vast. I too believe life is full of possibilities. Imagine, if you will, the Gold Coast in 2014. We have just welcomed a new mode of transport. This system, a light rail, has changed the city. Gold Coasters have changed their commute patterns. Public transport usage is up and Bombardier's Flexity 2 vehicle is transporting commuters down the 13 kilometre light rail system. The vehicle I sit on is at capacity. We have just left the Gold Coast University Hospital and over 300 passengers are hurtling south from Griffith University. We pass through the depot which backs onto Lotus Creek. I think of the green thighed frog and wallum froglets. We ride the hills of Queen Street. I think of the brakes, the rails we're travelling over and then how many cubic metres of concrete has been poured. The vehicle stops at Narang Street and Eloise gets on. We acknowledge one another with a knowing smile. Young ladies, boys, ladies and gentlemen, to be able to build a light rail system is a human innovation, a possibility. To be able to see the system through the eyes of science, well, that's a whole new world. I'm a QUT business graduate who majored in communications and left science at the door in year 10. But now I see science as a way of understanding the world. I am a construction communicator turned science educator and I'm thoroughly enjoying connecting with the next generation of science enthusiasts. Research undertaken by Universities Australia highlights Australian students growing lack of appreciation of the roles in science that maths play in lives and communities. As a communicator within the construction industry, this is particularly worrying given the rewarding career opportunities such as environmental science, civil engineering and design which are directly relevant to the delivery of the Gold Coast Light Rail. Last year, McConnell Dow and Bombardier Transportation, partners in the design and construction joint venture, took a chance. While other construction companies might focus their community engagement with schools through meet the professional talks, such as, hi, I'm an engineer, this is what I studied, this is how I got here, and this is what I do, McConnell Dow and Bombardier took a chance on an approach to reach out to students. Today, Eloise and I will take you on the journey of the Gold Coast Light Rail System. The idea, the approach, and the production. Under the Schools and Education program, Love Learning, which aims to connect as many people as possible to the project through education, partnerships, and workplace experience, the joint venture recognised that not only was it retrofitting a transport system into the, Australia's sixth largest city, but it was also displaying daily science and maths principles at work. Partnering with students, sorry, teachers from Benoit State School, the joint venture came up with the idea to present nine educational web episodes for years two to seven based on teaching principles of the Australian School Science Curriculum to be used as classroom resources. We call them web episodes as they will be hosted on our YouTube channel and social media and shown, we hope, by teachers to students at education centres around Queensland, Australia and potentially the world. The web episodes examine science areas such as conservation, environment management, water recycling, gravity, electricity and forces. They bring to life, through using real world examples, the light rail system and its construction. I could add examples here, but I'll let Eloise tell you in her own words. Once drafted, we tossed around the ideas of how we would produce and present them. As this was to be a community project, we wanted Gold Coast kids to help tell the story and interview our science experts, also known as engineers. We approached schools on the light rail corridor 
and discovered Kaimana, Curtis, and Eloise. In addition, and as these episodes were drafted using a news formula, we decided to enlist Gold Coast Channel 9 support. Again, Gold Coast Channel 9 saw this as a great community project and lent local journalist Libby Stone's expertise to us. The possibility of connecting the project to primary school students through a real world curriculum resource was once an idea, a chance, a risk, a possibility. And now it's coming to life thanks to the efforts of various members of the Gold Coast community. We look forward to launching them shortly, but now let's hear more from Eloise Campbell. Thank you, Catherine. The Love Learning Education Program invited me into a world of engineering, environment and science through the internationally recognised Gold Coast Light Rail and then in turn asked me to help share these ideas and principles with primary school students across Australia through an innovative learning program that McConnell Dow and Bombardier Transportations are about to launch. I took learning from the classroom and out into the real world and was given the opportunity to share my learning experiences with primary school students across Australia by making web episodes. And this is the way they will view me in my personal protection equipment. A hard hat, orange shirt and purple steel cap boots. Not every girl's idea of fashion camera ready. Last October, when this was still very much in the planning stage, I was already extremely thankful for the many opportunities that may arise, yet quite apprehensive. What if I froze up in front of the camera? What if I didn't understand the concrete making process? What if purple steel cap boots didn't come in my size and I would have to settle for plain brown? While all these questions and many more were eventually answered, along the way I came to understand that what I was involved in was a unique opportunity to showcase what we learn in the classroom and how that can relate to real life. Sitting at a desk reading a textbook that explains if you combine 460 kilograms of cement and fly ash, 200 litres of water, 985 kilograms of 10 and 20 millimetre aggregate and 614 kilograms of sand, fine and coarse, we will produce one cubic metre of concrete. Is of course an accurate account of the chemical process. <laughs> Boring, but accurate. So when you can show a concrete plant, borals to be exact, and the opportunity to physically engage with these materials and the filming of my hands-on experience, it will truly make chemistry to a year five student something enjoyable, memorable, and something truly worth getting your hands dirty for. We learn in school that over the past decades, we have been less than careful about the way we impact on our environment. The Gold Coast Light Rail has taken an old council depot and transformed it, so an old council dump, and transformed it into a tram depot, whilst taking care of the endangered fauna species, the green-thighed frog and wallen froglet. I had the opportunity to go on site and be all Steve Irwin, highlighting through filming what has occurred in the past and what will happen in the future, by conservation efforts and the environmentally aware engineering that the light rail has adapted. To a year two student, talking about these concepts might be a little hard for them to understand. Oh, but crikey, if you show me crouching down in a creek with mud all over my legs, explaining to them what is occurring, it will truly make environmental science for a seven year old something easy to understand and want to become a part of. Governments have elected and fallen. Kyoto agreements not signed. Mining taxes imposed. Talking about these concepts with a primary school student, you'll be met with a blank face and a what the? But show me sitting on a tram explaining that this is the most energy efficient mode of transport at its maximum cold, holding 308 people, taking 235 cars off the road per hour. It will truly make the concepts of greenhouse gas emission and polluting our environment real and tangible making the children of today the world-changing adults of tomorrow. On a personal level, something that I will remember forever is the generosity of spirit shown to me by all those involved and their willingness to share their professions and passions with me. 
From the camera crew, I learnt about lighting and camera angles, invaluable for when we were studying film earlier this year. From the director, I learnt about how to engage an audience with my voice, something truly helpful when studying drama. Although the films are directed at grades two to seven, I too was benefiting from the scripts. Renewable, non-renewable and inexhaustible resources are something I learnt about whilst filming and just so happened to be in our science unit earlier this year. Two of the project engineers, Anna and Earl, were quite passionate about their involvement in the light rail and the changes they were instrumental in making. This made me see engineering in a whole new light and even consider it as a possible career path. Just a little aside, do you know that mosquitoes don't like bright colours such as this orange? Anna taught me that whilst we were filming in what seemed to be squillions of mosquitoes, yet still not getting bitten. And the Gold Coast Channel 9 news team even let me see behind the scenes at their studios in Surface Paradise. What an experience. Of course, Bombardier Transportations, McConnell Dow, the Love Learning Program and the Light Rail are a major reason for why I'm standing here today. I would also like to thank Catherine Humphrey from the Communications and Stakeholder Team, a lady I hope I will know for the rest of my life. I once read, when you learn, teach. When you get, give. As I grow older, the depth of this statement becomes greater and more meaningful to me. It all begins with an idea, an idea worth sharing. Thank you.